Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by e.l.f. Cosmetics. So today I will be doing a full face of e.l.f. Um, which is basically a full face of affordable products because you know e.l.f. is a really amazing drugstore brand. It's one of the first brands that I ever was introduced to into makeup. Today I'll be doing a natural, beautiful, glowy makeup look. And if you guys didn't know, e.l.f. stands for eyes, lips, and face. All of e.l.f.'s products are 100% vegan and they're also cruelty-free. So they do no animal testing at all. So any of these products that I'm using in today's video, I will have links down below for you guys to click on. Y'all can shop and do your thing, have fun with it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First product we will be using is the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream, and this has hyaluronic acid in it, and also it has peptide complex. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and pop some moisturizer onto my skin. Always very important to moisturize before you do makeup. It just makes everything look so much better on the skin. And when you're doing this part, you need to be careful with your skin and be gentle. I always love when I'm massaging my face because my redness always comes out. Now that we are moisturized with a good glow happening, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into foundation. Foundation today is the Flawless Finish Foundation. My shade is vanilla and it is light with golden undertones. This foundation does come with a pump, which I really appreciate. I can always appreciate a good pump. Really helps you control how much makeup comes out and also it's just more sanitary. So I also have a professional brush kit from e.l.f. There are 12 brushes in here. I'm just gonna run through these brushes real quick, just the ones that are included, um, and then I'll be using them throughout the video. So the brush set includes a smudge eye sponge, lip defining brush, eyeshadow brush, blending eye brush, defining eye brush, eyelash and brow wand, brow comb and brush, foundation brush, bronzing brush, total face brush, concealer brush, eyeliner brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and pump some of the foundation in the back of my hand, apply it with the foundation brush from e.l.f. and then I will blend it out with a sponge. All right guys, the foundation is on. I can tell you that it has great coverage. Um, as you guys seen before, I had all that redness around my nose a little bit under my eye, and I think it looks great. It has a great finish. Um, I think I chose a good color. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to concealer. For concealer, I'm using the iconic 16-hour Camel Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers I had ever used, and it is very affordable. My shade is going to be Sand Medium. I just love the finish of this concealer. It um, has a nice matte, it's full coverage, just, just really makes the under eyes look smooth and literally flawless. Oh, and to mention, I love the Dofa applicator. It's nice and big. It applies a good amount of product on. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with the Beauty Blender. And I like to start on the edges first. This makes sure that all the product on the inner part has the most coverage and you're not disrupting that product. So you just wanna blend these edges and then I'm going to do this side almost. I'm gonna kind of let this bake a little bit. The concealer that's right on the inner corner because I want that to have the most coverage because that's where people have the most coloration. So as you can see how bright that looks. So I like to let that sit for a second. Did I mention I love this concealer? <laughs> and as you can see, that product is all there. None of it moved super full coverage. So for setting powder, I'm going to use the Halo Glow setting powder. Um, this is in shade light, and this is supposed to give a nice glowy look to the skin. So next, I'm going to take my sponge and dip it into this powder, and I'm going to press that right up against the creases under my eye so that these are set, these don't crease, nothing moves. The sponge really packs it on there and makes sure it's secure all day. So I'm gonna do that with the sponge and then the rest of my face, I'm just going to use a brush to set it so that it doesn't look too matte and it still has that nice glow. And so to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Total Face Brush by e.l.f. It's very soft, very fluffy. So I'm just gonna swirl my brush into some of that powder that's in the lid. And I'm just going to pat it on my face to set it. So now the face is set, I'm going to add 
Sam Bronzer and Contour with the Elf Contour Palette. This is in shade Light Medium. So we have two contour shades. We have a powder to set under your eyes or to brighten under your eyes. And then we also have another powder which is almost like an illuminator. Um, you could use this probably as an illuminating setting powder or just as a subtle highlighter. So I think I'm going to just dip back and forth into both of the contour shades. And I hope that'll give me a good shade for myself. All right, now that my contour and bronzer is down, um, it's nothing too heavy, nothing too crazy. Just gave a little bit of color, a little bit more dimension. So now I'm going to move on to blush. The blush I'm going to be using is the Primer Infused Blush. And this is in shade Always Peachy. I love warm, peachy, orangey shades for blush, so I'm gonna throw this on. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bronzing brush that came with the set for blush. Brush, blush. So I like to apply it to the apples of my cheeks and then back a little bit into the bronzer. And lately, I have been really into blush. So I like to put a good amount on. So you can see when I smile, this cheek is a lot warmer. It just looks very healthy. All right, blush is done. Let's move on to one of my favorite parts of makeup, highlighter. So for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Metallic Flare Highlighter, and this is in shade White Gold. This is one of my all-time favorite highlighters as well. I love that these highlighters don't have any like base color to it. When you swatch it, it only glows when the light hits it. So there's never gonna be a cast or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little fluffy brush, get some glow on it. Y'all ready for this? Oh, instantly. Oh my goodness. See how it disappears? And then it reappears. Blinding. Blinding. Ooh, look at that. And then I'll use my finger as well to do my cupid's bow. All right, highlighter is definitely on and it looks amazing. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on to brows because the face is complete. For brows, I'm going to be using the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And here's what it looks like. It has a spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other. The shade I'm going to be using is a neutral brown. And I love how these come with a tip already so you can get those nice, precise application. So I'm gonna go ahead, my brows are pretty full already, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of fill in the sparse areas and maybe make them a little bit more fuller. So as you can see, the little before and after of the difference that it has made, it still looks pretty natural, still looks very bushy and full. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. I think today I'm going to be doing like a berry slash mauve eye look and lip today. So I have two palettes I will be using today. These are the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palettes. Today I have shade Pumpkin Pie and I have shade Berry Bad. And I will be using a combination of these two today. First off, I'm going to take Pumpkin Pie. I'm gonna grab this brown warm shade. I'm going to put that into my crease. Now I'm going to jump into the Very Bad palette and I'm going to take this burgundy um, matte eyeshadow and I'm going to pack that onto the outer corner of my eyelid. So I'm going to switch to the eye defining brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to almost create like a smoky liner with this eyeshadow shade. So I'm gonna start really blown out on the outside and then as I come in, I'm going to create like a liner and on the inside it'll be more defined. And with the defining brush, I'm going to wing out that burgundy shade just to give a little bit of a lift to the eye. I'm going to fade it back into the crease color. Now I'm going to take the eyeshadow brush. This is like a smudging brush. I'm going to smudge that burgundy shade right underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take that crease shade that we used, that brown, and I'm going to smoke out that burgundy and I'm also going to pack that into the inner corner of the lower lash line. All right, so the eyeshadow is pretty much completed. I'm going to go ahead and take the metallic liquid 
eyeshadow, and I'm going to go ahead and pop that into this blank space that we have right here on the inner part of the eyelid. So I'm gonna take a brush and just kind of take some off of the applicator because I want to have a good amount of control with how much I apply and where I apply it. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it right into the top part of the eyelid. So we're gonna kind of pop, we're gonna kind of avoid that liner that we put down. We want to make sure that liner keeps its shape. So you can obviously get a lot more out of the application um, if you just use the applicator and applied it. But for this look, I'm going to make it a little bit more subtle. So to complete the eyeshadow, I'm going to take the highlighter that I used previously. And I'm going to throw that into my inner corner for a nice inner corner highlight. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and complete the other eye off camera. I'm going to put on mascara lashes and I'll be right back to complete the lips. All right, so as my lash glue is still drying, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lip. All right, so for the lip, I'm going to take the Liquid Matte Lipstick and this is shade Marvelous. And I'm going to take a little, small amount of that and I'll put it on my lips. I don't want a full coverage application of this because I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with a lip lacquer. We'll get to that in a second. So I'm just gonna take some of this on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take the lip defining brush and I'm going to just take a small amount and, and very lightly cover my lips with it. This is more just to get a even base, even color on the lips. And then I'm gonna go in with the glossy lac lip lacquer. All right, now that we just have a soft color on the lips, I'm gonna go ahead and take the lip lacquer in shade Wild Rose and throw it on the lips. I like this applicator, it's very flexible and it's really easy to apply. All right, everybody, here is the finished look for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my full face of e.l.f. cosmetics. So I'm very impressed with all of these e.l.f. products. Um, they are very affordable and they also really do the job and they also get the job done, as you can see. These eyeshadows I didn't really talk about, um, but they blend it out. They have pigments and yeah, can't complain about those. And I think the liquid eyeshadow, the gold, is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I wanted more of like a glittery effect. Um, if you wanted like super metallic, you would just take the applicator, swipe it on, and everything else. So I'm very impressed with all these products. Um, I highly recommend them for you guys. If you guys wanna shop them or anything, I have links down below. Go ahead and click them in the description. It'll take you to the website. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, if it helped you, if you liked anything, um, if you want to leave your comments down below, I would appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up as it helps me and our channel. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Deuces.